Welcome back, his army, to another episode of We Are One. You wanted the best and you got the best. The hottest channel in the land. We are one. Here I am and here you are. Welcome to the show and welcome to Psycho Circus Kiss Army as we dive into the void of history. Here at We Are One, history will be preserved with interviews both old and new and the breaking news you need. Now, let's go shout it out loud. Ace Frehley has been on a promo for Origins Volume 2 as of late doing interview after interview and according to Ace he's probably done over a hundred promos for Origins Volume 2 thus far and in some of those he's taken shots at current KISS guitarist Tommy Thayer for donning the makeup and not being original which I don't think anybody actually thinks that Tommy's being original by wearing Ace's makeup and performing in KISS however with that being the case I thought it would be a good time to take a look at this older piece from Ultimate Classic Rock, where Tommy Thayer talks about what he thinks about Ace, and he's the fact that he's not going to say anything bad about him. So this is written by Jeff Giles. Tommy Thayer makes no apologies for the way he assumed Ace Frehley's stage persona when he accepted his position in KISS, but don't expect him to sling any mud at his predecessor. They refused to take the bait during a recent interview with Australia's Newscastle Herald, responding to a question about derogatory comments Frehley made last year by shrugging, I don't want to get into a back and forth, but I'm sure you can kind of assess what you think when you hear all that. As he goes on to point out, Thayer is perfectly aware he wouldn't have gotten the KISS gig if Ace hadn't played himself out of it. Tommy said, I think he had every opportunity in the world to continue in KISS and be in KISS as long as he did the right thing. It worked out better for me and he has to lead his life. As far as the jabs and all that, he can say that stuff and I'm not going to say anything bad about him. I just wish all the best to everybody and whatever they're doing. And while some KISS fans may still feel there should only be one spaceman in the band's history, Tommy recognizes the possibility that future members may face the even more daunting prospect of replacing co-founders Paul Stanley and Gene Simmons after they decide to retire. Tommy said, It's possible. I mean, it's already kind of happened with half the band, to be truthful. It's hard to imagine KISS without Paul or Gene. But at the same time, who's to say somebody won't come along that blows everybody away and that they could continue to take over and continue on? Anything's possible, you never say never, and I think that's part of the KISS philosophy, is there are no rules and anything could happen. I think this is a wise position to take on Tommy, in the sense that he's not going to say anything bad about Ace, given the sense that he's not only the new spaceman, the new Ace in KISS, he is a fan of KISS. Before he was in KISS, he worked for the band since the 80s and he played with Spiro and the um, one of the most well-known KISS tribute bands called Jin, where he was the ace in that band. And so I don't think it's any secret that Tommy was drastically influenced by KISS and Ace in particular, given the fact that he portrayed him in a tribute band with Spiro, who did the um, a couple of commercials for KISS back in the 90s when Gene was unable. And I don't think that this is a big deal if Tommy doesn't want to take anything about Ace, given the fact that he knows Ace is the reason Tommy has the job and that it's the only possible option that this, he would even be in the position he's in as if Ace was in KISS. So I don't think he has any ill will toward Ace. If anything, he's probably still admirable of Ace and the fact that all of the great stuff that he's done. Because Tommy doesn't really seem to be a guy who holds grudges, having met him a few times and having met Ace as well. Neither of them seem to really care that much, and I think Ace's point on the press always making Kiss's feuds to be worse than they really are is what's at play in this aspect. And let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. Talk to me. Remember, God gave rock and roll to you, and God bless you. God bless you.